Welcome to the Elements of Spirit readings for the week of July 17th, 2017. 717, 17, 717, 717. Um, these are the readings for the element of air, which includes the sun sign of Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. <clears throat> the um, If you haven't listened to the ether reading, go back and check it out now. The affirmation was, I observe my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual state, one at a time. I prioritize the immaterial to make magic. So we're focusing on the invisible elements of life. Let's see what air has to offer you today. Air is air is air is air. Your mind is not real. Quotes as you think of it. It becomes real through the application of fire. Okay, cool. And they're also reminding me, where am I out of line? Where am I out of line? I see. I see. I think this was your affirmation from last week. I see where I am out of line. Sorry, this is a lot of message coming through for you, but I think you're going to like it all. I... Okay, sorry, it's so much. Okay, um, I am accountable, and air is air is air is air. Air is air is air is air. Your mind is not real as you think of it. It becomes real through fire, through fire, through application of fire. Okay, I am accountable for every thought I have. Each thought contributes to my overall vibration. I create the challenges and blessings along my path through the mastery of my mind with love. Okay, so th these all seem to be reminding you of the power of your mind. And they give us this, which is a very eye of the hurricane. This is also the you know symbol for air, or one of the symbols for air. So there's something here to remind you that that you can create a prison in your mind. You can create a trap. You can create um, constructs which confine you. If I do this, then this will happen. If I, uh, if I say this, this will happen. Um, if I don't go th there, then I won't then I will be okay. If I do go there, then I won't be okay. So all of those things are ideas. When you're dealing with an air element, those ideas feel like reality because air elements have a primarily mental experience. So all of this feels like reality. But the idea here is that your mind is not real as you think of it. So just because you have that thought doesn't mean it's real. That thought needs to be galvanized, crystallized, solidified through the application of fire, through um, a choice, through um, a, a 
it, it takes attention and application in order, so you have to be invested in those statements in order for those statements to work. So the idea here is just because you think something doesn't mean it's true, but if you think about it long enough and hard enough, it becomes true. You create that, that prison, that reality, that construct for yourself. The opposite also holds true. If you have a beautiful thought, like life is grand, it doesn't necessarily make it so instantly, but if you apply yourself to this thought and if you create fire through the focus of your intention or through the focus of your attention, and if you continue focusing in that direction of everything is grand, then things gradually start to become more grand. Point being, you. I am accountable for every thought I have. Each thought contributes to my overall vibration. So what I think, positive or negative, affects me, contributes to my overall vibration. If I'm working with my ether affirmation, I observe my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual state. I prioritize the immaterial to make magic. I prioritize the immaterial to make magic. Then each thought contributing to your overall vibration is significant. Because you, if you create the challenges and blessings along your path, and you do so through the application of fire to your mind, through the will of your focus, the will of your intention, the will of your attention, the will of your, your, your mind, then <clears throat> you will create the challenges and blessings along your path through the mastery of your mind with love. So, that's the end of this. I create the challenges and blessings along my path through the mastery of my mind with love. So we're reminding you here that you can have this kind of thought. You can apply fire to this thought. Intention, attention, will, action, engagement of these thoughts. That engagement will make the thought real, will make it manifest, will make it more valid, more um, tangible, more physical. It will drop it down. It will make it more three-dimensional, more real. If you engage it, if you care about it, if you live with it and live through it, each thought you have, you are accountable for every thought you have. I am accountable for every thought I have. Each thought contributes to my overall vibration. It will affect me somehow. I create the challenges and blessings along my path through the mastery of my mind with love. I have the power to steer my ship. If, whenever possible, I am able to observe my physical, emotional, mental state specifically, I am able to observe my mental state and ask, is this trending along the lines of love? Is, this, is the quality of my thought process useful to me at all? Or is it driving me down, 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 down? Example, a couple days ago, I was like, holy shit, I carry around a lot of shame. I don't believe it. My mind, well, I think, my, my, I say my mind, but in truth, my, my soul knows it's not true. I know there's no reason for me to be ashamed of myself. But I spent so long with a mental construct of shame that was being fueled by my attention, by my actions. I acted as though I was full of shame, as though I was shameful. And gradually, that um, came to define my life. Hasn't for a while, right? But that's what I thought until a couple days ago where I'm just driving down the street. I was on my way to an appointment and I was just whoosh, overwhelmed, flooded with that feeling of how worthless am I. In that moment, I recognized that I know I'm not worthless, but that my thought process was trending towards shame and maybe had been trending towards shame for a long ass time. So here's my day to day. I'm driving to work. This thought process comes in that says, you are so full of shame. You, you are, you're worthless. I am worthless. And that's going around and around and around. I am worthless. I am worthless. But if in that moment I can remember, even for, for a second, if I can observe my thought process and go, wow, 
you're really trying, like you're really caught up in this thought process. I'm at least on top of that thought process. And then I can go back to our ether reading and say, uh, you can make magic. You can affect material change through immaterial means. But in your case this week, you guys, you're going to want to try to stand on top of or rise above or witness or watch the, the, the tendencies, the trends towards, towards uh, habitual thought, habitual constructs of your mind that keep you trapped so that you can make choices to create more blessings than challenges along your path. So you can consciously say, oh wow, I was trending towards shame. Let's at least neutralize that. So what did I do? I went to work, I went to my session, I left, and I was like, wow, it's so interesting. I've been carrying around this shame. If I go too deeply into that, I start getting depressed because I'm like, ugh, what has my life been for the last 30 years with all this shame? But today it's not like that. Today I don't have that much shame. So I'm not going to dwell on it. Why? Because I'm adjusting my set setting. I'm observing my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual state so that I can make magic and affect material change through immaterial means. It's a lot this week, you guys. This is a very rich elements of spirit. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I love you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oops. <laughs> I forgot again to give you the affirmation. It was a long one, um, and there was actually a little piece missing. I am accountable for every thought I have. Each thought contributes to my overall vibration. I choose to think along the most loving lines. All we're doing here, guys, is nudging your mental state nudging it along the most loving lines and doing whatever possible to clock that state, to observe it, so that you can prioritize the immaterial to make magic, so that you can adjust, so that you can witness it, to adjust it ever so slightly, to encourage the thought process to go along an upward, buoyant, loving trend. Offered in love and service, I am accountable for every thought I have. Each thought contributes to my overall vibration. I choose to think along the most loving lines. Have a beautiful week.